Okay, as you know, Botvinnik and Smyslov played uh, three matches in 1954, 1957 and 1958. I want to show you a game from 1957. Uh, it was 17 game. Uh, Botvinnik played for white, Smyslov played for black. So knight f3, knight f6, g3, g6, c4, c6, bishop g2, bishop g7, d4, castle king side, knight c3, d5. What is the name of opening? Now Grunfeld defense. Good. C takes d5, c takes d5, knight e5. Why this move is good? Very well, so uh, we have outpost squad on e5, uh, our, strong in, uh, our knight is strong in the center on e5 squad, d4 pawn protects this knight, so it's a good move for white. b6, what white should play here? Castle, maybe. Bishop g5, why decided to play? Why, why decided, didn't make castle and played bishop g5? So if, for example, in this position of white to move, what white will do? I would take bishop takes knight. Bishop takes f6 yeah. and knight takes d5 or bishop takes d5. Yeah. Right? So we develop our bishop to g5 and we have tactical idea here. Okay, good. Bishop b7 to defend the pawn on d5. Now what? White should play? <coughs> yes, rook c1. It's very interesting move. Knight e4. What will we do here? Take the knight, d takes c4, bishop f4, correct move, f6, knight c4 is natural move, okay. f5 and d3, it's equal. But white played in this position, bishop takes f6, bishop takes f6. He decided to exchange uh, the bishop on the knight. Yeah, but why? I mean, just why give up the bishop? I mean, now you lost the two bishops. Because pawn on d5, I think, is weak. That's why he decided to exchange it. And uh, black cannot develop knight from b8. If knight c6, yeah. you can take with the bishop pawn on d5. If uh, knight d7, maybe what will it play? If knight d7, for example, uh, castle, still rook c1 was correct move, but if castle, knight d7, and we have choice, bishop takes d5, knight takes d5. So what if, for example, knight takes d5? We didn't calculate this. So if bishop takes d5, bishop takes, bishop takes. And we won the pawn, right? But if knight takes c5, you take, uh, yeah, take, take the, the rook, rook. Yeah. queen takes, take and that's winning position for white, right? Yeah. So that's why we between it decided to exchange the um, bishop on the knight because knight on b8 has no job. So, so he pushed e6. Maslow in this position to defend also the pawn. Castle. Uh, Botvinnik made castle, yes. Okay. But uh, rook c1 was better again. e6, f4. Ah, so f4 comes Your in. idea. Oh. Yeah, so it's a typical idea of middle game. And of course, the main idea uh, to defend the knight on e5. If bishop takes e5, what will you do? F takes. Yes. Why? F open. takes e5, open, open f file, and. You also typically uh, take it toward the center. The okay, good. What else? We don't give them a pass deep on. Yes, we yeah. don't give, uh, but 
Actually, we cannot say that it's past pawn on d5 because we have pawn on e2. But okay, black can push it in the future and open the bishop, for example, or exchange the lights who has bishops. What else? Uh, Smyslov played bishop g7, now rook c1, f6 to attack the knight on e5, and knight should go back, f3, knight c6. Now we can develop our knight on b8, right? e3 to defend the pawn on d4. And what is the best move for black here? Tell me. So bishop a6, we cal calculate. <coughs> Rook f2. Oh, okay, it's an um, interesting idea and typical idea, but uh, in this position, why they have a better move? So you feel that uh, bishop, on, uh, bishop on a6 and knight on c6 are weak, right? So how we can use it? Knight can take the pawn on b4. That's what I was going to take. Knight takes d5. Yes, uh, it's an interesting idea. Knight takes d5. Right. If e takes d5, rook, c6. rook takes c6. So we want the pawn. If queen takes d5, um, knight, e5 knight d5 is the idea to take the knight. So knight on c6 is weak after bishop a6. What black should play instead, bishop a6? Rook c8, same idea. To put the rook on open file. And to develop the rook. Because we are sure that we should develop our rook to c8 square, right? Mm -hmm. So it's better to develop that piece. Which have, for example, one square. Because maybe we will play queen e7, maybe queen d7 in the future. We don't know exactly right now. And it's equal position. But in this position, um, Smyslov played queen d7. Rook f2 was interesting without move bishop a6. The same idea to double the rooks <coughs> on c file. Knight a5, for example. b3 to stop knight c4. Rook c8, bishop f1, your idea. f knight c6, rook f2, c2. Still equal, but it was interesting. So in this position, Botvinnik decided to move queen e2. What black should play? Knight a5. To put the knight on c4 square. If, for example, b3, maybe knight a3 and a3 square will be weak. So why should play knight d2, rook a c8, h4, knight c4, knight takes, rook takes, and d3, still equal. But in this position, why didn't play mm, knight d2, why played h4 immediately, so it's a little early. And what black can play here? You can stick with this plan and play knight c4. Mm-hmm, knight c4, strong move. g4 was interesting idea if I decided to attack on the king side. Should push another pawn and h5 maybe in the future. Rook a c8, rook f1, bishop a6, queen f2, b5. Actually a better position for black. But why decided to play bishop h3 in this position? Now what will you do? So Rook how eight. you can use open c file? Rook, I'm just saying uh, stake a claim on it with the rook on a to c8. Yes, rook a c8. Why should exchange this knight? Knight d6, h5, rook c7, rook f2. <coughs> Rook f8 and rook h2 is interesting for white. Mm -hmm. Queen f7, h takes, h takes, 
It's still better position for black, but... Smyslov didn't play this move. He played knight d6 immediately without rook c8 in this position. Which was not correct because white can push h5 uh, in this position. Rook e8, h takes, h takes, knight h4. Queen f7, queen g4. Mm -hmm. And white have some counterattack on the king side. King h7, rook f2, with idea rook h2 to use uh, open h file. <coughs> so knight d6 was too passive. But Butinik decided to play king h2, which was bad move because if white pushed the pawn h on h4, of course the main idea to push h5 and open h file in the future and maybe to play rook f2 and rook h2. But after king h2, black blocked the square on h2, and rook h1 and king go back, it's too slow. a5, now your idea. Smyslow did this. <laughs> so what do I should play here? Actually, queen c2 is better here. Rook f8 h5 to attack the pawn on g6. Queen f7, h takes g6, h takes a4, something like this. But still better position for black. So king h2 was a mistake and... Black can use it. But in this position, uh, Butvinnik played rook f1 b5 it was interesting for white to play a4 b takes a4 queen c2 a3 b takes a3 rook f8 queen a2 and rook a6 was a rear double the rooks on c file white played knight d1 what will you do for black here B4. Black pushed B5 was the idea before. Now black has <coughs> more space on the queen side and still want to develop bishop to a6 square. So knight f2, now what? Bishop a6. Bishop a6, queen d1. Yeah. But the rook fc8, because maybe you will need your rook on a8 in the future, because you began to push the pawns on the queen side. But the rook on f8 has no job. Okay. And now what white should play in this position? Rook c5. Rook c5. We have outpost crown on c5, so why not rook c5? Yeah. And what black should play? Knight b7, we should take, take, and it's better position for black, but um, uh, as for me, it was better f uh, to play for white the rook c5, because the difference is that in this position, uh, white took immediately, and knight on d6 is better than on b7 square. So from one point of view, we lost the tempo, but knight on b7 is passive, okay? Knight d2 was interesting as a idea to stop knight c4, knight e4 also, a4, bishop f1 now to exchange th that bishops, knight takes f1, bishop f8 still better because black has thrown rook on c file and more space on the queen side and square on c4, e4. <coughs> Bishop f1 immediately. Bishop takes f1, rook takes f1, and what black should play here? Yes. Yeah. Queen c6 to double the pieces on c file. And what is the main idea after queen c6? 
Yes. Black can play queen c2 in the future. Okay, very well. Rook e1 was correct move, but the idea after queen c2, queen e2. And if queen takes e2, rook takes e2. White rook can defend the pawns on b2 and a2 on the second rank. Knight e4, for example, knight d3 is still better position for black, but maybe white has some chance to make a draw. In this position, white decided to play knight d3. Now, what black should play? Queen c2 check and force the queens to swap off. If queen c2, queen takes, rook takes, and what white will do? Which move? Uh, rook f2. Rook f2, yes. So rook takes, knight takes. What black can play here? Knight c4, of course. Well, and bishop somehow to play. Attack the pawn on b2, it's difficult to attack this pawn. Knight d1. Did he start moving the king to like a f7 to the center? Very well, king f7 to improve our king. Why play b3 here, which is weak? Why? Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> yes, because pawn on a2 is weak. Yes, and why they have bad, bad pawn structure. Now square on c3 is weak, white and black can use it in the future. So what black should play? No, no, no. b3 with the idea take the knight, so... Oh, I'm sorry, move the knight. Oh, to with square. Go back, mm -hmm. yeah. King g2. Knight e4, it's a good move. Knight e4, knight e1, e5, d takes e5, f takes. Yes, open the bishop. Knight f2, knight c3, f takes, bishop takes. Knight fd3, king e6, knight c1, king f5. And it's better position for, and better end game for black. Because black have better king, better pawn structure on the queen side, strong knight on c3, knight on c1 is passive, should protect the pawn on a2. But uh, Smuslow decided to play in this position mm, h5. So what white should play here? White need to improve the knight from a free square. Knight e1. Also with the idea maybe knight d3, knight c5, then knight b7 if knight e4. So e5, d takes e5, f takes e5, f takes, bishop takes, knight f3, bishop f6, knight f2, something like this. Knight b5, e4, d takes, knight takes, knight c3. Knight takes, king takes, and knight d4, knight d2 with the idea knight c4. But Botvinnik played king h3, knight e4, g4, still king g2 was better for white to go back. Mm -hmm. And what black should play here? Knight c3 was correct. If knight takes c3, b takes c3. We have pass pawn on c file, okay. What white should play? Knight e1, very well. Now? <laughs> How we can use our pass pawn? 
E5, we should develop, uh, we should improve our bishop and mm -hmm. open this diagonal. Knight c2. Why not king e6 to improve the king? And it should be winning in the game. Right? Okay. When in doubt, centralize the king. Yes. Yeah. But uh, Smyslow didn't play knight c3. Uh, he took the pawn on g4, king take g4, king e7 again was better move to improve the king. He played f5, king h3, bishop f6, king g2 again was better for white to improve the king. But uh, white decided to play knight e1, knight e1, king g7. What is the main idea of this move? Down the H file and yes, so look, we have a uh, weak pawn on a2, which we can attack. Black can attack this pawn, and we need to make another weak square or pawn because it will be difficult to win, right? If we have only one weak pawn on a2, which we can attack because white can defend. So after king h6, king h5, we can win the pawn on h4. Knight d3, knight c3, knight takes, b takes, and it was interesting for white to push b4 here. Mm -hmm. um, in this position, um, after b takes c3, um, it was 40 moves, and um, between the grot move knight e1 and postpone, postpone the game. So after that, we, they analyzed this uh, game at home with coaches. Which doesn't seem fair. <laughs> <laughs> From one point of view. But uh, very interesting that um, Butvinik uh, was sure that it will be draw. And uh, in the morning next day, um, his coach um, offered draw uh, Smyslow, but he didn't accept it because he found very beautiful idea for black. So better move was b4 in this position. a takes, knight takes, b4, king h6, a4, bishop d8, knight c2, and uh, white can make draw here. But Butvinik wrote knight e1, king h6, knight c2, bishop e7, And why should play a3 in this position? King h5, b4, with the idea to trade the pawns on a5. Because if you want to make a draw, it's good for you to exchange the pawns in the end game, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. If you don't want to make a draw, what should you do? Exchange pieces. Don't exchange. If you no, don't exchange. want. I was going to say exchange the but knight and bishop. Okay, it's a dream, mm -hmm. <laughs> because mm -hmm. knight on c2 and we have dark squad bishop, we cannot exchange it. Right. But it's interesting to play a4, <coughs> b5, for example, bishop d8, and knight b4. So equal. But Butvinik didn't understand this idea that he needs to exchange the pawns on a5 and push a3, b4. He played king g3, king h5, king f3, king takes h4. And tell me please, what is the main idea for black right now? Knight e1. And white would almost be in Zugzwang. Yes, so it, it can be. Perhaps, yeah. Yes, it can be Zugzwang. And uh, Smyslow found a very interesting idea that king can go from the king's side to the queen's side, like you said. King h3, king h2, king g1, king f1, but we should cut the mm, king, of course, uh, bishop h4 before this, from f2 square, and if king e2, king g2. So, g5, he pushed first of all, mm, f takes, with idea king takes, knight c2, bishop d6 to cut the king on um, f4 square. So, he has time for this. Knight e1, king h4 again, knight c2, king h3, 
knight a1, king h2, king f2. Now, what black should play? Bishop g3 check, king f3. Bishop h4. Bishop h4. Very well, knight c2. King g1, you see? Yeah. King e2. King g2. Yes. Yes, um, um, many times white should push this. Yeah, it seems, but it seems like black is just going to maneuver his way over, so you got to distract him and do something. Yeah. So in this position, it was interesting, a3. And if king h2, king f2, but here mm, bishop e7, so dangerous, yeah? b4, and it's important to play which move here for black? If bishop h4, king e2. Not to take the pawn. I didn't take the pawn. A4? Yes, a4. So because after a takes, b4, a takes, b4, black, uh, white have a chance to make a draw. So a4, and it's it should be a winning position. Because um, bishop can stop that pawn, pass pawn, bishop d8. You will see what happened in the game. He pushed... Um, a3 mm -hmm. before, but it was too late. So, King e2 in this position. What black should play? King g2. King g2. Knight a1. Okay. If king d3. Instead of knight a1. Uh, instead knight a1, king d3, what black can play here? What if king f3? King takes c3, king e2. I wouldn't play king c3, I'd play b4 if it's pawn. Before king takes c3? Yeah. Because I feel like I can take the pawn at any time, I'll try to get the past pawn. Because if I go for a two quick, he'll play this stuff. <coughs> Okay, I'll play a4. Bishop d8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe in this position we should to take the pawn on b4. A takes. Knight takes and to play. Hmm. Maybe King F1 was better here. Yeah, it looks like we can't let the Same we idea, can't but move. we have in some lines chance to move E1 D1. If king takes c3, king e2, so same. Okay, b4 still? I would probably play a4 here. a4? Yeah. Okay, so if you take a4, what if bishop e7? Uh, idea to stop b4 and uh, after king c3 to move king e2. So why they have not good move? Okay. A takes before. I think if you will take, sh it should yeah. be winning position. Yeah, white's got it. Or it could be draw. No, no, no. I mean the better for black. Yeah, no, that, that's why I would. Because we have pawn and better king. Okay, mm -hmm. but I had still some chance to make draw, but... No, so, what do you want to play? Probably after pawn takes pawn, it's not good. Yes, if or not good, it's better right, to push... Go before that, if you're going to go for that idea. Okay. So, before right now. Mm -hmm. A takes, I think black should take knight takes before. Mm -hmm. And maybe here... 
Kenny Wan. If king f2, knight c2, knight c2, king d1, a4, bishop d8, king e2. But it was very interesting yeah, idea. Yeah, so yeah. this is really complicated because yeah. I bet they, with their seconds, they probably went through all these calculations. <laughs> So knight a1, bishop e7, knight c2, king g3, knight e1, bishop d8, knight c2, bishop f6, and now it's oops one. So uh, white cannot move with the knight because f4, and uh, big pawn on d4 also cannot move with uh, king because king f3. But king, king d3 was better move again. New idea. A3, uh, Butvinik pushed the pawn. Bishop E7, B4, A4, right? Don't yeah. exchange the pawns. Knight E1, Bishop G5, Knight C2, and Bishop F6 again. So you can use it many times in the end game. King D3, King F2. Knight a1, bishop d8, knight c2, bishop g5, b5, and bishop d8, knight b4, bishop b6, knight c2, bishop a5. After knight takes b4, what will you do? King e1. King e1, yes, of course. Of course, after 15 minutes, all right. Yes, because the main idea for black was all end game to move the, the queen side to the king yeah. uh, the skin side to the queen side so king d1 king c1 king b2 if king c3 your idea king e2 and king take c3 and push f1 so in this position between the design so it, it was very beautiful end game and what did you study what do you will remember after this lesson? Yes, yeah, so king can be uh, active not only in the center in the end game, but it's possible to move with the queen side to the uh, king side to the queen side. What else? Yes, you should push pass pawns in the end game. And pass pawns are really strong. It's a big problem for our opponent. Okay, what else? Yes, yeah, so bishop is very strong then uh, it's open files and the bishop has diagonals, right? Yes. And uh, for knight it's better if, for example, knight has some closet position and um, output squares. But in this position it was difficult uh, for white to do something because um, knight should start the pawn on c3. We lost that game yes, <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> you should calculate a lot. And remember, in the end game, um, you cannot say that it's better for white or for black. You should understand that in the end game, it's winning position or losing position or it's draw. <laughs> and you should calculate till the end. And you should think before to go um, to, to the end game. And also, if you want to make draw, you should exchange the pawns. It will be easy for you to make a draw. If you don't want to make a draw, if you want to win the game, push the pawn uh, a4. Like in this end game, and try to make an hour week pawn or square, and don't trade the pawns, right? <laughs>